A taste of future food. The global elites at the World Economic Forum promote fake meat produced from a 3D printer. Now, who knows what this entails, what it contains. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we would be outlawed from eating anything natural anymore. Global elites at the World Economic Forum promote fake meat produced from a 3D printer as a taste of the future. The World Economic Forum is an organization whose stated goal is to improve the state of the world by engaging business, political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. Founded in 1971, its headquarters are in Geneva, Switzerland. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos daily, even though there's a lot more because of YouTube restrictions on sensitive election material. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. They're totally different from what I have on YouTube. You'll find the link in the description box below each video. Thank you so much for your support. The globalists plan to solve the world's problem by starving us, not producing more. The World Economic Forum gave three reasons why peasants should eat lab-grown meat. This is frightening. Every year, billions of animals are raised and slaughtered for food. This usage uses huge amounts of water and energy. Some experts believe alternatives could be better for people and the environment. Now, wait a minute. This is, of course, I have to show you the, uh, because of the fact with this World Economic Forum video, all of them are Creative Commons. So let's see what they have to say. Now, last month, the global elites told the public to start eating weeds. The strange diet plan comes from a recent virtual event hosted by WEF called Bold Actions for Food as a Force for Good. The WEF highlights five main reasons that you should start grazing on some weeds. One, they're easy to grow. Two, they can be rich in nutrients. Three, we need to diversify our diets. Four, we know more about the soil. They know more about the soil than, soil than we do. And five, they taste great. Okay, well, what about your protein? Anyway, globalists at the anti-American World Economic Forum are doing what they do best. The Soviet-style degradation and humiliation of hardworking Americans who are made to feel guilty for enjoying a cheeseburger. Everyday working class people are the only problem they see, and the global elites will continue to nosh on steak and lobster while the peasants eat lab-grown meat and weeds. But let's take a look at their video to see what they're saying. analyze the different components that uh, make those beautiful cuts and try to figure out which are the key components that we need to mimic in order to achieve those beautiful cuts of meat. We identified three main components, the muscle, the blood and the fat. These are the components that we need to mimic in order to reach the perfect beautiful steak. Our technology can create whole muscle cuts just as a cow can produce that in a much more efficient way with a lower cost and of course it's much better for the environment. by Gateway Pundit Christina Leila. As you can see, the World Economic Forum does not tell us what they put in this uh, concoction. What is this made of? What protein is this made of? Where does that protein come from? Uh, this is uh, just terrible. I mean, you're supposed to be going to be forced to eat this at some point in the future, and you don't even know what you're eating. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.